Let's get into it. Paper Lace, The Night Chicago Died. Summer night. Oh, wow. In the land of the dollar bill. When the town of Chicago died. And they talk about it still. When a man named Al Capone tried to make that town his own. And he called his gang to war with the forces of the law. I heard my mom cry. The sound of the battle rang through the streets of the old east side till the last of the hoodlum gang had surrendered up or died. They were shouting in the street and the sound of running feet. And I asked someone who said, about a hundred cups a day, I heard my mom cry. Are they singing about something that's true? I really feel like they do, but I mean, they mentioned like Al Capone, you know, uh, in regards to like a bunch of hoodlums and things of that nature. I mean, and I could believe them too. I mean, Chicago was kind of ruthless around yeah, that time. No, but that's what like, I'm asking. I'm just like, wait. Maybe like the mob and, and the gangs, things like that. But did he say 100 officers got died or something? I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. I, I'm not. I'm not really sure about that part. I was. I was just referring to like Al Capone. But now, did, did you say that he that they did say that right before you paused it? Hold on. I didn't really catch that part. Okay. I don't know. I didn't really catch that part where you were saying about a hundred police officers. Okay. Let's go. About a hundred cups a day. I heard my mom cry. No sound at all, but the clock upon the wall. Then the door burst open wide, and my daddy stepped inside, and he kissed my mama's face, and he brushed her tears away. The night Chicago died. Oh, but her, but but his dad made it home right, safely. Right, because she was because he was one like of them. Oh, so that's her, a his mom was up crying because she, she was, wasn't sure. Like, what the heck? This, this no, okay, so it got to be some truth to this, then. Yeah, got to be some truth to this. Okay. <laughs> wow. 
wow. Especially when he said, I wonder what it was. What though. a night the people saw. What a fight the people saw. What did they see? So Y'all, I'm, what happened? So I'm wondering, oh, Chicago Fire. So it was a fire, like Chicago Fire. Oh, in 1818, 1871. Oh. 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 Wow. And you know what? I've heard like parts of this song before. That part where he says Chicago died. Like I've, I've actually heard like this part of that song before. I don't know where I, where I've heard it at. Maybe I heard it in a film. Maybe like a film that had the had Chicago in it somewhere. But that part of the song sounded very very familiar. So I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it kind of has like a real depiction in regards to like what really kind of happened in regards to what they're saying too. Yeah. Because he's saying like his like his mom's crying. And it's almost like a real life depiction of a story of like the mom, the mom waiting up for the husband to come home because he's a firefighter or he's a cop. Yeah. And you got the Chicago fires going on, and probably a lot of people are losing their lives. I remember a lot of like, people are in danger, and yeah, it was really for the fact for the fact for him to come home. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I mean? Come through the door and kiss, and kiss a mother. You know. It was like it was I everything. don't remember like exactly like how it started though. That's the thing. Like I can't remember what it was that that had happened that had started the fires. I just remember like reading about that, uh watching like a documentary on like the History Channel on something like the Geographical Channel or something about mm -hmm. the Chicago Fire, the Great Chicago Fire in 1871. That's why I was like, wasn't it 18? I was going to say 77, but it was 71. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like 300 people. 300 people died in that fire. And, wow. And a hun a, a hundreds, like a whole t bunch of people were left like homeless behind that. Like their houses burned. I forgot like how many, like it was thousands of like structures that had burned. The whole city was on fire basically. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember what happened. Like why did it happen? How did it, how did it start? Um... Cause somebody tap in it with us. Like it was, it was horrific. It's about law cracking down on gang gangsters, war. the run runners, no fire, gang war. Yeah. Oh, was it because like like gangs and like I don't the, know if I can say that word either. Yeah, like, the, be, because they were mentioning Al Capone. Like Al Capone is like like one of the more more infamous. Um, He's like one of the more infamous mobsters, yeah, I guess you can great. say. What caused the Chicago fire? It began in a barn belonging to Patrick and Catherine O'Leary. Some people believe a thief knocked over a Latin lantern while stealing milk from the barn. Years later, a man named Lois M. Kong confessed to starting the fire by accidentally knocking over a lantern, lantern, lantern when running away from an illegal card game. Burnt the whole daggone city down. Can you believe that? I never heard of that. Fire of 1871. I never heard of it. It was, look, 17,000 structures and left more than 100,000 residents homeless. Wow. In 1871? Th over 300 people were killed in that fire. It, this says 300, but I, I've heard that it was more than 300. I've read, I think that's what I, that's why I remember that. That's insane. The cow started it all. Jaws, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just like that with you. He said, imagine if law... Crack down on gang wars in Chicago. <laughs> Yo, Very I'm funny, right? From uh, what is this? Wikipedia. You know they always. <laughs> so shout out to Rasmus. He said the night Chicago died is about a shootout between the Chicago police and Gangsters. mobsters tied to Al Capone. It was inspired by the real life St. Valentine's Day massacre. Got you. Was that what happened though? This says that th somebody kicked over a lantern. That didn't have no, nothing to do with nothing. No, those are two different things. Okay. Yeah, we're, like if you're talking about Al Capone, this is in the 1900s, like 19 early 1920s, 1930s or something. Mm, okay, no, in I'm regards. talking about 1871. I thought that's what we were referring to because I'm like, I know that there was a really big, huge fire in Chicago. I thought that's what he was referring to okay. because he was talking about his dad not coming home. Yeah, I didn't, he probably was talking about what you talking about because when, when, when they heard, had to fight. When I, when I heard him say something about Al Capone in the in the song, yeah. I was like, that got something to do with the mobsters. Why he talking about Al Capone and the streets and things of that nature? Yeah, because he said something. But did he say hoodlums or something mm -hmm. like that? Maybe mobsters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it, it, it was that. So shout out to Razman for, for shedding light on that one too. Okay. Custody and body boy, I'm a